for mine, for empire's sake, some pity on your love take. Ah, ah, make a hero, aspire a hero. Purcell sort of encompasses everything that is alluring about going to the theater. Dido and Aeneas is the perfect gateway drug for Baroque opera. It's fast, it's exciting, it's very melodious. It is not a showcase for amazing athletic feats of singing. It's about the emotions. The beautiful, beautiful space that we have, St. Matthew Episcopal's Church, is such a unique venue to be doing a show like this in. I'm having such a fantastic time um, in my brain with this challenge of transforming the space. As a history buff, I have enjoyed digging into the history, the past of this very ancient story. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research into Phoenician art, Egyptian art. We're bringing in all of these fantastic experts that know the intimacies of each of those things. We're utilizing uh, period instruments, and these instruments are, are, they use gut strings instead of regular strings. So the sound is very interesting, it's very unique. We're going to deploy all of those forces in Dido and Aeneas, and it's just going to produce a rich and hopefully haunting sound. It's, it was originally composed for a girl's school, so there are very compelling elements in it that make it really seductive for a, a, a general audience. And, and that's my intention, is, is, to, is, is to bring people together from different backgrounds, um, because I think it just makes things way better and way more interesting. I'm very excited. <laughs>